All right. Sorry, guys. It, uh, just internet issues. So what what I was talking about while we're in class in our Google Meet, and I think I'm still lagging out of it, um, is we've filled out all of this so far, okay? And we haven't managed to get all our adjectives or our adverbs. But what we're going to be doing is we are going to, I want you guys to go away by yourselves, and you guys are going to actually look at the adverbs all right, yourself, go through that text, okay? And you're gonna go and finish off the rest of the adjectives, okay? All right, now just remind yourselves with adjectives, they are the things that are describing any of our uh, nouns, right? So they're specific to the nouns. So have a look at the nouns and see if, if you think it's an adjective, go back through your nouns and check that, is it in your nouns list? And then that way you'll, you'll have a better better idea. Um, verbs are obviously action words. So again, we've taken all those action words that we could find, and we're gonna look for any word around it or directly in front of it um, that describes the action, all right? So quickly leapt, quickly flew, quickly disappeared, quickly raced, quickly chanted, all that, that quickly could describe any of those, right? Once we've done that, we're gonna move down to our proficient level area. And with proficient level, we're gonna be looking at uh, metaphor, simile, and personification. So just a reminder again, metaphors are anything that uh, refers to something as being something else that it is not, okay? Um, a simile is similar to a metaphor, but it uses the words like or as. Um, you are as uh, golden as a ray of sunshine, um, or you're as golden as a toasted chicken nugget. Um, so it has to have that as in there. Personification is giving uh, personal qualities to inanimate objects. So the tree waved, right, or the tree was dancing. Um, and there are a few personifications in, in that story that we looked at. Imagery is the combination of all of these put together in order to create a descriptive sentence that is that uh, gives visual representation to the reader. So um, it's basically the way the author puts words together to make that picture come into our head. What kind of words have they chosen? Now, what you need to be looking at is going to the language feature toolkit. All right, so click this link, go to the language feature toolkit, and inside the language feature toolkit, you're gonna find all of the language features that we're looking for and an example of what they look like. So if you get confused, you go there and have a look and see if, uh, that helps you, right? And it should because I tried to make it as as clear as possible. Most of them will have some sort of video that you can watch as well, which will help you through it. Once you've done all that, you'll be going through and you'll be just making some of these create things. So creating a GIF um, of you looking and moving like one of the characters in your text. So picking the adjective and maybe the adverb um, or doing the noun and the adjective, right? So just a GIF, just pick one. Proficient level is you're gonna create an image that accurately portrays these language features, right? So uh, if the fire is dancing, uh, you're gonna make a funny image of some flame dancing, right? It might be doing the electric hustle or something like that, popping and locking, who knows? Um, advanced level is you need to use your words in this one is describe how the author's choice of words creates an accurate picture within the text, okay? So um, you're writing down how uh, the author's words, what kind of image did they create, and what words were really uh, good at doing that. I hope that makes sense. I hope this video doesn't lag out as well. Um, and send me your work when you're done, and I'll be going through it and just having a check, okay? And if you want to move on to a different text, you're more than welcome to. It is self-selected text, so you can go through that if you wish. Uh, there are also audio books for those that want them.